Why are Americans so anti-science? Or at least some Americans. Today we're going to talk about a very odd phenomenon that began to catch my attention during these coronavirus uh, times. And that is the fact that so many Americans seem to be, at least on TV, they seem to be so against scientific facts and scientific understanding, right? You see these people, they might be protesting against wearing masks, they are protesting against uh, vaccines, they are protesting against, or they're, they're calling the, the coronavirus a global hoax, or they might still claim that the earth is still flat, and it goes so on and so on and so on. There's so many uh, oddly disturbing news about these people. And um, it's very easy to dismiss these people and calling them stupid or moronic and so forth. But if you look at the way they dress, you look at the way they talk, they're not uneducated people. They are at least, I would say at least completed high school, but more like the way they talk, they seem to have completed some level of college. Middle class, lower middle class white Americans. So why, are, why is this particular group of people so against science? My theory is this, okay? if you look back to U.S. history, and you see that U.S. is really the child of industrial age. Industrial age is related to scientific discoveries, understanding, and the rapid increase of that during the industrial age. So all throughout modern American history, U.S. has benefited greatly from science. Um, in fact, even today, U.S. is one of the most scientifically um, driven society that I can think of. However, something happened, um, I believe, around the beginning of the 80s to today, in the last 40 years or so. And that is that for the first time in American history, you see that the middle class, the majority of Americans start to becoming uh, less and less and less well off as technology progressed further and further and further. In fact, I remember when I was in middle school, high school, I remember te my teacher would describe to me this utopian society where they promised that one day technology will because of technology, we won't have to live, work anymore. Machine will do all the work, we just have to show up for maybe a couple hours, and the rest of the day we'll have free to pursue our personal interests, or relax, or whatever. That didn't happen, did it? In fact, today the people who control technology are working more and more and more and more hours. And people who are not in control, or does not work with technologies, are working less, less, less hours. And the value of the work is lower, 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 lower. So, for the first time in American history, technology has not improved people's lives, but in a way has degraded it, um, degraded people's lives. And I think that this whole anti-science mindset and movement is a direct result of this sense of betrayal that what science promised Americans was not delivered. However, with that being said, I don't believe that science is, 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 is negatively affecting people's lives overall. I do believe that science has increasingly, and increasingly, at least in the United States, been disproportionately benefiting some group of people and negatively, negatively impacting other group of people. So that a very small group have benefited enormously from technology and majority of people are suffering under the current regime. So it is really not technology to blame. What is to blame is the rising inequality in America. So with that being said, I guess what I want, the, I want you to take away from this video is one is do not immediately blame, laugh, or think these people as um, stupid or moronic. They have the reason to see the world as they do. The real question is how can we make the United States a more equitable society so that more people can partake in the benefit of scientific progress and scientific uh, growth. So that is really it. A very short and simple video. Let me know what you think on, in the comment section and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.